Hey guys, I'm Michelle with Sub-07, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Last time, we made our way out of Sector 2 and explored Sector 4, the Aqua Sector, defeating Saris the Sea Serpent and recovering the Speed Booster ability. This time, we've been sent to Sector 3, the Pyro Sector. We're hoping to get some download data for Super Missiles, but they're locked off to us right now, so we gotta go find our way into the Level 2 Hatch area. The good news is, the X apparently have not invaded this sector yet. So there's the target over there, but as far as we know, we do not have access until we can activate level 2 hatches. Oh god. Adam specifically said to avoid superheated areas in the last part, so if you see one of those, you are in the wrong place. Uh, this is a bad area. Because it's a speed booster area. Actually, we might be able to get a running start. Let's see. Oh, we did. Okay, I believe there's actually a power-up here that we can use. Yeah, right there. Got it. This will tank for our troubles. Green hatch. Now, this is actually something we can't open, but we are in the right location. We just need a little bit of help. Just get a run up and break that block. Bomb through here, and we can find ourselves the level 2 security room. Security level 2 unlocked. Green hatch is now active. Unfortunately, doing that might have been a bad thing. Because while we've given ourselves access to the data room, we let the X parasites in. Let's go. Side hoppers, as we've already seen before, are just kind of normal here. Well, actually, no. I believe these are variations of them. They're called Desgigas. These things are slightly stronger, but uh, not too much of a problem to worry about, I'd say. Unfortunately, we got a path blocked to us that we can't really access right now. And if we head up here, we got uh, these things. These weird mouth wall creatures. I believe they're referred to as Foons. Ow. You can shoot them a few times with missiles to defeat them. And you can also find a fake floor. Now up there is the target that we need to head to. As otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get it here. Because it was blocked by a green door. These fire guards are called Novas. And here's an actual normal side hopper. Right. We got another, we got another one of these blocking the way. And we can't get past it. Because it is resistant to missiles. These purple barriers are only affected by super missiles. So uh, we're kind of screwed on that front. Luckily we found that other passage we can use. If you're careful you can just use your morph ball and run right through it. Now what you need to do is get a good running start. And break the floor down here. Avoid these guys. And if I remember correctly there's a passage down here. There is but it's something we can't access yet of course. Oh god. Drop down here, I guess blow up our Nova, a Nova for our troubles. I don't believe we're really supposed to be in this area yet because... Yep. But this part might be accessible. Yes it is. Alright, let's just clear out these ouches real fast. Don't want them causing a problem. And you'll notice there is a power up in here apparently. There it is. Missile tank. But, there should also be another thing here. Yep. Unfortunately, by the looks of it, I don't think we can access this just yet. One, because it's really hot. And two, because we don't have a way to get up there just yet. It's just slightly out of reach, even with our high jump boots. So let's begin the climb back up. Foons can only really just charge at you or spit a projectile, so they're not too dangerous so long as you're careful about them. Just bait them, and then go. Okay, that's good. That's giving me plenty of room. That door is already busted, jeez. Someone has been in here. But for now, we gotta head this way. 
Oh, actually. Oh. Yes. And pff, I fell for the fake floor trap. Yeah, there's a fake floor trap in that area, and it just kind of boots you back here. But I got excited for a second because there's actually something kind of neat about that little room there. As you saw, there was a missile tank there. As far as the speedrun community for this game goes, there's typically stuff like any percent, hundred percent, but there's also zero percent. And zero percent has an issue with this missile in particular. This, I believe, is Bob. He's the only missile tank in the game that is excruciatingly difficult to get past. There is a way past him. I don't remember the exact way, but there is a way to get past him. You gotta be extremely tight with your movement, though, to avoid him. Because in this game, uh, completion percentage is actually based on additional upgrades, not key power-ups. It is possible to do a 0% playthrough of this game. I don't know why you would necessarily, unless you're a masochist. But it is possible. Let's just uh, shoot this side hopper real fast, because I want some sort of ammo. Please die, thank you. There we go. And let's head over this way. And open this up. For the data room. Oh. Step in. Super missiles data downloaded. Hold R and press B. Yes, this is the exact same as regular missiles. Unlike Super Metroid, you don't have to select different between missile and super missile. They are the same thing now. And super missiles are way stronger. But uh, that quake was not our doing. What was that? That's not a good sign. Anything that makes that noise... Oh, that's not good. Well, someone tore a hole down here. But at least we got access to whatever the heck's over here. Save room by the looks of it. Save our progress, because we're actually getting a bit low on health, which uh, I didn't even realize. Jeez. Recharge room, that helps. A lot. All right, now we can destroy these. Because since we have super missiles, we can destroy the purple Garons. And get ourselves another missile tank. And as you can see, these things are way stronger. They defeat side hoppers in one hit. But that music is very concerning. That's a problem. Something's moving. Once you're ready, head back over here. And meet the boss of the pyro sector, the box security robot. This guy likes to hop around and shoot this. It will split apart into two rising pillars of flame. Keep in between it when it fires, otherwise you're gonna get hurt. And load your missiles onto it when you can. His only weak spot is the middle part of him, otherwise he is indestructible. And charge beam does not work, just use super missiles. You can usually get about three of them at once. We've exposed his brain. And it flees the scene. That's all for that boss. That boss can actually be pretty tricky your first time through because those fire pillars are no joke, but... For now, that's all we have. That was the boss. And we can't go that way, so all we can do is head this way. Oh god. Take care of these side hoppers. That uh, floating blue enemy with the, I guess, red, like, claw wings, I guess? Oh god, that's another type of enemy, but I always forget the enemy name of it because, again, enemy names in this game are really weird. I suppose with a side hopper. Like, give me a sec to even try to remember what that the thing is. Uh... Oh, wait, now I remember. It's Garuda's. Almost akin to the Gerudo from uh, Legend of Zelda, surprisingly. I do believe there are a couple places that we can go up from here. But they're not places we can really easily access right now. Ah! Yeah, right here. We got a missile. It requires speed booster. And we got a little area over here. Can't destroy that because don't have the proper upgrade for that. 
But what you can do is this. Get a good running start. Charge up. And launch diagonally to get yourselves a missile. You can do diagonal shine sparks, just can't really shine spark down. That's just the one r rule of it. Drop down here. Blast ourselves that side hopper and let's get out of here. Oh, before we go though, we got another thing we can pick up. Bomb the floor. And you will get yourself, I believe, an E-Tank. Come on. Yes! Wonderful. One more bomb for good measure. Let's get out of here. Take care of that Garuda. Let's run. These, uh, these guys just kind of infest the place once you open up the map for the X-Parasites. For now, let's get... Let's bail, though. Adam, what do we do? I got attacked by a box. I see that you encountered a rogue security robot. You may destroy it if you meet it again. Your safety is vital. And as to your brief, level 2 security locks have released. So sectors 5 and 6 are open. That means those sectors have likely been infiltrated by X. They are much harder to stop than we initially suspected. Sector 5, ARC, is sub-zero. But that's me! You're still susceptible to cold from the vaccine side effect. So you'll take damage if you even set foot inside there. Avoid Sector 5 for now. But in the meantime, HQ is working on data to adjust your suit for extreme temperatures. Once we have the transmission, you can download it, but... The X have destroyed all the data rooms you have used so far. I can no longer doubt their capacity for critical thought. You'll have to use the data room in the night habitat, Sector 6. Knock. Go to Sector 6 and access a navigation room there. Is your objective clear? Tread lightly, Samus. You're the only one who can do this. And the X may be much more dangerous than we know. I mean, they're basically mimics. I'd like to think they're already pretty dang dangerous, dude. But yes, we can't even go to the Arctic Sector because since we're technically part Metroid, Kind of a problem. Speaking of problem, though. Does Samus suspect anything? No. I do not think so. Good. Monitor her closely. Affirmative. Out. Concerning. Well, there's not really much we can do about that now, can we? For now, though, we have our objective. Next stop, the Nocturnal Sector. And let's head down. Nocturnal Sector is kind of interesting. I actually really like this location, but... It's, uh, got some interesting life in it. That you'll see momentarily. Get ourselves a blip on that radar. This is a lot bigger than, say, Sector 2 was. At least as far as we can see to start. The Varia suit data is here from HQ, ready to download. Get moving to a data room. But there's a problem. X from the Sub-Zero Sector, Ark, are now in Sector 6, Knock. And they... They've been changed by the cold. If you absorb one, you'll be frozen from within. This seems like a deliberate tactic. Once you download the Varia suit modification, you'll be out of danger. Just be extremely careful until then. The knock data room is here. Remember, avoid the blue X. Use your beam to stun them in order to get by. Is your objective clear? Yes. Be careful. They are hunting you actively now, Samus. And this area is very dark. Proceed with extreme caution. So yeah, X are getting pretty crafty. Not only have they snuck into the Arctic sector, which is kind of inhospitable for us, but they've managed to evolve into blue raspberry flavored. The greatest flavor, but it's so delicious we can't handle it. We'll literally just take damage if we touch them, so, uh, try to avoid them! And welcome to the Nocturnal Sector. These little bats, or I guess whatever the heck they're supposed to be called, are menus. Seriously. I don't know why they're called menus, but that is their official name, and it is what I'm sticking with until the end of time. Alright, pop that. These guys are also zeros, actually. They're another species of zero, just purple zeros. And there's nothing we can do about that spot right there. 
I believe there's another thing we can get over here, though. Later. <laughs> For now, we head this way. So, yes. As it mentioned, this is the Nocturnal Sector, so uh, be careful. Very dark. Grab that missile tank for our troubles. Let's head back. And we got another Garon set up. But since we got super missiles, it's not a problem. Also, I made a mistake referring to those weird, like, larger blobs that turn into towers also as Garons. They're not. They're called, I believe, Kudos. Like, K-U-D-O. Kind of strange name. Oh, no, it's Kago. Again, strange name, but there is a difference between them. More importantly, though, Blue X. You can stun them, as Adam mentioned. Just just use your beam, shoot them once, and they'll be stunned. If you don't, you'll take quite a bit of damage, so do your best to stay away from them. Let's head this way. No, it's not. Oh, God. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of these dudes around here, so just be careful. Speaking of... Oof. They did mention the X might be intelligent, and might be is right. They're pretty clever doing something like this. Oh god, okay. Now they're hiding in fake blocks as well, but our one thing we can do is stun them and just run past. Oh god, oh god, oh that hurts! Ooh. Okay, there's a target down there, but, oh god, it's left or right. I'm gonna try and say... Left? No. Ow. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Looks like from... I also don't even know why I said left. We were going right. My sense of direction is just as excellent as my uh, language settings, as you can see. Again, just avoid these guys as much as you can. And nuke menus while you're at it to get some health back. Pretty helpful. Got a save room here. Might as well grab it for our troubles. This one, though, I don't know if it actually connects to the other room. That might not be a fake wall over there, since there's no crack indication. There is not. So I guess we're just going the back to the left. Pardon me for a moment. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, something happened that I needed to take care of it in real life. Dang real life problems. Well, what can you do? But I believe over here, there's actually something for us. Something quite useful. E-tank. Grab that. And I believe if we bomb the floor, yes. We can head further down. Alright, let's head this way. Oh. oh. Fake floor here. Nice. Let's head over here and let's see what we... Oh. Right, it does have power bombs. Ow! Don't let it see you. Just let it continue on its own little way. Do not get too close to the edge though because there's a fake block. Just let it run through. If you, if you went in too early, you might have just dropped down right into its face, and it would have probably made mincemeat of you. Luckily, there's no sign of it now. Just a couple of menus and a couple of zeros, which we can easily dispose of. And we can use to head this way. Another save room for our troubles. Don't really need that, but it's good to, ha good to know on hand. Head down here, though. Ow, blue X. But there's actually a spot over here we can access. Because there should be a missile tank here. Yes, there is. Nice. Fortunately, just gonna take some damage going through there. These purple zeros do do a lot of damage, so try to be careful around them. Okay. And be careful shooting through here because there are blue X in here as we've seen. Just try and inch forward. And get past. Nice. Oh, 
That's boss music again. That's not a good sign. Ghidorah. You know what that means. One super missile will now permanently take them out, though, so that's easy. Head right in. Let's get ourselves an upgrade. Hey! Asshole. That was my various suit. Get back here. All right. Oh, God. Meet the boss of Sector 6, the Mega Core X. Yeah, that, that's apparently the best name they could come up with for it. This thing is only really weak to the power beam, surprisingly enough. So charge up and unleash. A few good shots of this will blast right through most of it. Because normal missiles actually don't do anything for some reason. Good thing your charge beam exists, otherwise you'd be in a lot of trouble. This fight is pretty easy, I'd say. Especially compared to both Saris and the box robot. And now he's back down to just core. You know the drill by now. Just get a few good shots in to weaken that core around it. At least that barrier around that, I should say. Alright. Two more hits, I believe. One more. And that does it. And for our troubles, we get... Varia suit effect recovered. Survive extreme temperatures. And also... New suit color. It's ugly. <laughs> like, whether you like the fusion suit or not, that's fine. But I don't really know most, if not anyone, that enjoys this color on Samus. It's like puke green slash yellow. And it does not look good. Cannot say I'm a fan of this suit design. The other colors that we get for Samus from getting other suit upgrades are a lot better, I feel. Let's get out of here. Got ourselves another zero. We can head up this way. Oh, we can run into bulls. These guys shoot poisonous gas when you defeat them. Or just when they generally take damage. Try to avoid them when you can because they're kind of a nuisance. And luckily, the blue X are harmless now. But they're not quite aware of that. So they're just gonna give us some free heals. However, the X do get smart pretty fast. Once they get up to the top, they become a bit more aware of how this works. We get ourselves a missile tank for our troubles. And if we drop down here and roll this way, there's another one. Which I believe is here? Yes. Wonderful. Get ourselves into that save room real fast. And save our progress. Wonderful. I think we've made some good progress, so I think we're actually going to stop here. Next time, let's play Metroid Fusion. We're going to check in with Adam after managing to take care of this Mega Core X and recovering our various suit and see where it wants to send us. Probably to the Arctic Sector now, if I had to guess. Till next time, though, ice out. <laughs>